Hi, it's Rob Moore here. Now, will Elon Musk step down as CEO of Tesla? Now, there's some evidence that this may be coming, but this is also a little bit of a read from me. You might have noticed that in recent times, Jeff Bezos stepped down of CEO of Amazon. Obviously, Steve Jobs passed away and Tim Cook took over as CEO of Apple. And this raises some moral dilemmas for entrepreneurs, start or scale ups that I want to address that I've been thinking for a long while. So let me just um, let you know some things that have just come out in the news. So Elon Musk replying that he would be a better CEO for Apple than Tim Cook. I don't want to be CEO of anything. Again, Elon Musk saying, I rather hate it. And I would much rather spend my time on design and engineering. So the moral dilemma for you as a start or scale up entrepreneur is that the company that you found and build, you probably do because you love design or engineering or you're a creative or you um, have a product or a service that you're passionate about. But to be a CEO, you need to deal with legal issues. You need to deal with people and HR and recruitment. I'll give you an example. I am essentially a UK version of the CEO of my own company. And right now I'm having to hustle in and get involved in recruitment because the, the recruitment market is like nothing you've ever seen before. And so I'm getting involved in that. You have to... Um, We've got the app pinging and dinging everyone and I've got half my staff off. And so we have to look at how I can impact positively getting everyone back in the office and occasional rants on social media about it. Um, you know, you have sales and marketing and finance and strategy and legal and reputational and PR. And you have all of this going on as a CEO. I also know that um, Russell Brunson took some advice from Tony Robbins and decided to set, step down as CEO of his firm, ClickFunnels. And of course, Tony Robbins is, would be a very good mentor, worth a good few hundred million. And Tony Robbins long ago removed himself from as CEO of his company. So you may start to see a trend. You may hear it here first where big CEOs of big organisations step down or step up. So I, I believe Russell Brunson became chairman instead of CEO. You could stay, say that's a step down or you could say that's a step up. Um, it may be something that Elon Musk may do. It's something that Tony Robbins has done. Now, why would they do that? Because the CEO runs the business and running the business is not the same as being the designer, the engineer, the creator, the seller or server or the product of the product or service. Now, I personally at the moment quite enjoyed the variety of being the CEO of my own company. Um, I like to do a bit of recruitment, a bit of sales, a bit of marketing. You know, I like entrepreneurs are often generalists. So when you start a business, you think I'm a specialist and you specialize in things like. So, for example, for Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, he is a designer and an engineer at heart. So you start your business as a specialist. You know, you may have a product or service. You might be a coach, a mentor, a trainer, and you start as a specialist. But as you build your organization, you have to become a generalist. So, for example, Elon Musk doesn't have a PR firm. Twitter is his PR, but he has to do that himself. Maybe he doesn't like PR. A lot of people don't, but he's there on Twitter replying to everything because he is his own PR machine now, as you know, someone like Richard Branson probably was the disruptor of that. So you have to be your own marketer, your own PR, your own legal, your own reputational, your own HR, your own recruitment, etc., so I guess my um, the moral dilemma I wanted to raise for you and ask you to answer is one, do you think Elon Musk will step down as CEO at some point? Because these are the signs that I'm getting. I mean, to say I rather hate it and I would much rather spend my time on design and engineering. Now, let me read this next bit. 
Um, the reason he continue, continues as Tesla boss, I have to, or frankly, is go, Tesla is going to die. So if Elon Musk found his own Tim Cook, if he found his own um, Jeff Bezos has just recently stepped away and there's a, a new CEO of Amazon, might Elon Musk actually step down as CEO? I'd say the answer might be yes. And maybe you hear it first. So hit the share button. Um, hit the share button right now because maybe we hear, heard it here and predicted it here, here first. I have a sense that um, Elon Musk may step down as CEO of Tesla. Now, that could be good for Tesla if you have someone who's more of a generalist. So to be a CEO, you do need to be more of a generalist. And clearly, Elon Musk has done bloody good at becoming one. But clearly, it's not him. I rather hate it. By the way, I rather love it. I rather love being a generalist. Now, in the early days, you know, the product of property investment and the product of, um, you know, business itself and teaching and training this and investing in um, property and real estate, that was my skill, my specialism. And I had to become more of a generalist as the company had more demands. And I needed to, you know, when you need to, to grow and scale, there are more roles you have to take on. But this is interesting. Um, he has a company called The Boring Company. He is not the CEO of that company. He's not the CEO. That's very telling. All right. So let's summarize. Please hit the share button if you know any start or scale up entrepreneurs, because there's a, an entrepreneur's paradox. A dilemma for all start and scale up entrepreneurs is when you start, you're a specialist and you're passionate about design and engineering like Elon Musk is of Tesla. And then as you grow, you have to become a generalist, your own PR, your own marketing, your own legal, your own reputational, your own HR, your own recruitment, etc. They're two different roles, probably. Um, and I know the head designer of Apple loved the fact that he could um, work under Steve Jobs so he could be a designer. So are you a specialist or a generalist? Now, um, maybe to start your business, you start as your specialist and you learn some generalist skills. And then maybe you need to find a, a future CEO. Um, and I, I, in my organization, our MD, she's going to be, I mean, she's the MD already, but She's going to be the, the future CEO, if you like. We don't name those names like that in the UK. And therefore, I'm probably going to be the future chairman. A chairman really is a bit of advice here and there. Sort of have a little quick look and then go and do the things that you love to do. And, you, you know, I think what got you here won't get you there, which means that if you've got a business and you're three, five, ten years in and you're struggling and you're feeling thin and you're overwhelmed and stretched, maybe you're not supposed to be a generalist. And if you are supposed to be a generalist, then maybe you could align with a genius in something, um, a genius creator, a designer, and they can go and build the thing. Um, and then you can go and run the machine, the business. So we're seeing this a lot more now, aren't we? It's really interesting coming out. Jeff Bezos steps down as CEO of Amazon. Wow, I mean, who'd have ever thought that? Why? Because he wants to go and do his other projects. Because he's probably fatigued about being this really, really thinly stretched generalist. But some people are made for that and like that. Tim Cook has done an amazing job. You know, I didn't think Tim Cook would um, be able to take Apple to the next level or even keep it where they were based on what Steve Jobs has built. But he clearly did because he's clearly a very good generalist. My guess is he's not as good an engineer or a designer as Steve Jobs was. And that's a good thing. Otherwise, that's what he'd want to do. So are you a specialist or a generalist? Where, where, What stage of your journey are you going to become one or the other? Do you need to align and partner with someone? Will it be time for you to step down or step up? Um, and this is something for you to consider as an entrepreneur, because if you want to grow a vast organization, you do need to be a generalist. Let's see what happens. But maybe we predicted it here first. Maybe one day um, Elon Musk will step down as CEO of Tesla. The signs are there. I don't want to be the CEO of anything, he says. I rather hate it and would much prefer to spend my time on design and engineering. Um, I only carry on as Tesla boss. I have to, frankly. Tesla is going to die or Tesla is going to die. And he's not the CEO of the company founded in 2016. Boring. 
um, The Boring Company. So interesting here that this um, editor, James Clayton from BBC, has said he's living proof that you're never too wealthy to be stuck in a job you don't like. Well, yeah, you know, I, I don't know that he doesn't like it. Elon Musk is very blunt and honest about difficulty and challenge. Um, I don't think he'd rather be doing anything else. And if he would, then maybe he's going to step down as CEO and do it. Um, but I would reword that and say there's always a downside to every upside. So, um, y you know, accepting that as part of your journey of growth um, is probably a good thing. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the share button. Let me know what you think in the comments. Will, uh, will Elon Musk step down as CEO of Tesla? Um, are you a specialist or a generalist? Remember, what got you here won't get you there. So in the next phases of your growth, maybe you need to get a chairman. Maybe you need to get a CEO. Maybe you need to become the CEO and let someone else become the, you know, the um, main driver of the product or the service. Thanks a lot, everyone. Hit that share button. Let's get the discussion going. And remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.